Hi, my name is Dr. Rachie and welcome to the Murray River at the mouth of Barma Lakes uh, here on Easter Sunday 2016 and we are here today to uh, record and examine a massive blue-green algal bloom uh, which you can see behind me, this bright green tinge you can see in the Murray River is a result of a blue-green algae outbreak which has been persistent now for at least a month and it's uh, expected to persist for another month, maybe uh, as long as into May 2016. And it's around 400 kilometres long, extending from New South Wales all the way into Victoria. Uh, and this morning we have spent some time crisscrossing the Murray in between those two states, uh, basically recording uh, with film and with uh, still footage uh, the degree of this bloom. And I have to say, that it is spectacular um, in its colour and the way it looks. However, this is an indication it is a very bad thing for the environment. Uh, it is bad for the river because it um, contains toxins and some of those include acute toxins uh, such as hepatotoxins, uh, respiratory toxins, um, but some of them are also chronic toxins, which is the one I'm interested in, which has been linked to Alzheimer's disease and to motor neuro disease. We have taken a sample of water today and we do plan to get that tested to see if it contains any of these toxins. Uh, what we have been observing in the last couple of days is that there are people who are still disobeying warnings uh, about not entering the river. Uh, all around the main part of Echuca, which is about an hour from where we are today, there are signs nailed to the trees where the paddle steamers go off and do tours of the river and they're warning people not to enter the river, not to let their dogs enter the river and to stay out of the water. However, this morning, uh, where another river enters the Murray near Echuca, we witnessed a water skier uh, go past a few times and then eventually fall off his skis and plunge into the water. So that concerns me. Um, what else concerns me is that people are probably not aware of the degree of toxicity of something like this. I mean, it does look spectacular but just because it's natural doesn't mean it's safe uh, and so it's estimated that this bloom may be around for a little bit longer and that's due to low water levels as well as increasing temperatures that are around at the moment we are just coming to the end of summer in Australia and so where water gets shallow it heats up and that makes ideal conditions for algae and in some parts of the Murray, in fact, it's got so bad that fish have had to be relocated because they're running out of oxygen. So this is an environmental problem. Uh, and being Easter this weekend, the Murray is packed with people camping and boating and doing recreational things. We've seen people fishing. I haven't seen anyone pull anything out yet, but I'm tempted to ask for the internal organs, see if they do. Uh, and uh, so we have been recording this bloom and we will keep people in touch with what happens. Mm.